I'm Meredith with Extreme Terrain, and in this episode of Throttle Out, I'm giving this Gladiator a complete overhaul. So as you can see behind me, I have a brand new stock Gladiator. However, as you can probably assume here, it's not gonna be stock for long. Now this is gonna be getting a complete overhaul and I'll be touching on each part of this JT, including the suspension. I'll be adding some armor all around the Jeep. We'll be adding some lighting and a couple of accessories in between to make sure that we're taking it from what it is now and transforming it into not only a truck that's ready for the trail, but also something stylish and comfortable for the street. Now, if you're a fan of these kinds of builds make sure to like and subscribe for other cool content like this as well as other product install videos now as of right now this needs to be sent out to go get wrapped but when it comes back we can hop into the build So as you can tell, we just got this Jeep back from vinyl and the dune color is really giving this a rugged look. But first things first, we have to take care of this ride height and those wheels and tires. So let's get started. So of course, with every new Jeep, one of the first mods on the to-do list is a lift kit. Now, whether that's a spacer kit or a full suspension kit, a lift kit on a Jeep makes a huge difference when it comes to form and function. Now, the lift kit that I chose for this Gladiator is the Terraflex 2.5 inch performance spacer lift kit. Now, 2.5 inches is a perfect size to fit up to a 35 inch tire while also getting enough ground clearance to navigate most trails, and this is gonna give us a really good stance while it's on the road. Now, with functionality also comes form, and this lift kit will do a really good job at establishing a more aggressive stance out of the Jeep. Now the specific lift kit that I chose will come with everything that we need in order to get two and a half inches of lift on the truck, including a front and rear spacer, bump stop extensions, and it even comes with longer sway bar end links to accommodate for that added height, which is incredibly important for the correct suspension geometry. Underneath all four fenders is a set of black Rhino Armory gun black wheels wrapped in a 35 inch Arturo Trailblade XT multi-terrain tire. Now the black rhino wheels will add a very military style look with the bolted styling and the gray and black contrast while complementing those tires in the meantime. Now the 35 inch tires are going to fill up that wheel well very comfortably, but will also leave enough room for up travel while articulating off road. With the tire being a multi-terrain tire, this will allow more balanced performance when it comes to on and off-road driving. And even with the mildly aggressive tread pattern, these will wear more evenly while they're on the street. They are gonna be a little bit more quieter than some other options because of that specific tread pattern, but they still are going to perform very well on and off-road. Now that we have the tough looking wheels and a trail capable tire sitting on that lift kit, this will look very good rolling down the street. However, let's tackle a couple of other stock features around that fender area so we can really take it to the next level. To supplement the functionality that we added already, the next mod that I chose is a set of the Barricade Tubular Fender Flares. Now, upgraded fenders may seem pretty straightforward, but when it comes to protection, function, and the overall aesthetic, these are gonna make a world of difference. Now, these will go hand in hand with the lift kit by allowing a lot more room underneath the fender for larger wheels and tires, like the ones that we've added on our JT here. Now, these will also have a flat design in comparison to the factory flare. And since they are a little bit more narrow than the factory fender flares, they're going to enhance the look of the wheels and tires to make a big visual difference. These fenders also will be incredibly strong and able to take abuse from branches, rocks, obstacles on the trail with their steel construction. And they'll have a nice black powder coat finish on top to protect that steel underneath and match with any other heavy duty accessories like the ones that we're about to add. Now, in my personal opinion, I also think that this creates a good contrast in color when it comes to pairing it with the vinyl that we've added. What I also particularly like out of this set is that we'll be keeping the lighting on the fender, just like the factory fenders for the turn signal and that daytime running light. However, this is going to be a big upgrade because this is an LED, so you're gonna get a lot more visibility and style out of this light than you will with the factory fender flares. So now that we've wrapped up with the fender flares, we're gonna head up front and give this a more aggressive look head on. As you can see, we've upgraded the front bumper while also adding some utility in the mix. Now this is a Red Rock 4x4 crawler full width front bumper with the winch mount. 
This bumper will add a lot of utility to the front end of the truck when it comes to recovery, protection, and even articulation while we're rock crawling off-road. Now, I also like the fact that this will not only have the standard heavy-duty steel plate style construction, but there's also added tubular protection up top in the middle and on the sides, so we're really getting the best of both worlds. Now, the full width design will provide a lot of protection, and the tubular bull bar in the middle and the tubed outer ends will do a really good job at protecting the grille, and they're also going to protect the front end of the tires and the front of the fenders. Now, underneath, this will have angled up ends on the side to allow better approach angles while encountering any bigger obstacles off-road and in addition to that we're going to have recovery points on the front if we ever get into a predicament while we're on the trail as well as a winch plate. Now on that note I have the Deegan 38 9500 pound winch mounted on this front bumper. Now the 9500 pound pulling capacity is going to be great for the extra weight that we've added with these heavy duty mods because they're just heavy in general and that's going to provide us the recovery that we need if we ever run into a situation off-road, whether we're off-roading by ourselves or we're with a group of friends. Now the winch itself will have a three-stage planetary gear system, a 5.5 horsepower 12-volt electric wound motor, and a 94-foot black synthetic rope that is very easy to use and a safer option than standard steel cable. Not to mention this is going to come with everything that we need, including a wireless remote control, making recovery on the trail just that much easier and even just that much safer. Now last but not least on the front end, I also added head light trim for a little bit of contrast to the grill and I really think that it makes a big visual difference on the front end with the flat black design and it really goes well with all the other heavy duty accessories that we have on here already and they really assist in that black and tan theme that we're going for adding some depth to the grill itself. To complement the functionality of the bumper and the winch that I added up front, I've also upgraded some of the lighting on the front end, not only to add a big visual difference, but it's also going to drastically help out with nighttime visibility. Now starting off, I added these LED projector headlights up at the front, which will add a huge upgrade from the factory halogen headlights. Now the LEDs will offer better lighting performance than a halogen bulb would, and they're also going to add a more modernized look with the bright white color temperature and the redesigned housing. Now the housing is very similar to the factory LED package, and since that usually doesn't come on the sport model trim, I thought it would add a nice touch to the front end as far as the styling and the lighting performance is concerned. Now this will help us out with better visibility at night, especially on dark back roads and even navigating dark trails. Now I've also added the Raxium 50 inch super slim dual row LED light bar mounted on top of the Fishbone off-road 52 inch LED light bar windshield mounting brackets. Now the light bar will offer a lot of additional visibility on the front end and will enhance the lighting performance when it comes to working together with the LED headlights. Now with the light bar mounted up on top of the windshield, this will give the lighting a great position for better distance for when we need to see a little bit farther and a little bit more than the headlights are able to offer. Not to mention the slim design adds a very sleek and stealthy look to the front end of the Gladiator and the riveted border on the housing matches with the heavy duty aesthetic that we're achieving here. So now that we are all wrapped up on the front here with the armor, the recovery and the lighting, we can head around towards the back. In order to match our heavy duty aesthetic and the functionality of the front end with the back, our next mod is the WJ2 at rear bumper. Now this will create a very complete look to match with the front bumper and allow a lot of functionality on the back end. Now just like the front bumper, this will be made of a heavy duty steel material to make sure that the rear end of our truck is protected while we're out on the trail and even in the parking lot on a day to day. And it will include a nice textured black powder coat finish on top, of course, to protect that steel underneath, but also to match with any other heavy duty accessories like the ones that we've already put on our Jeep. 
Now having a rear recovery point is just as important as having a front recovery point and this bumper is going to do just that, coming with two welded D-ring mounts on either side and this is even going to have jack points if we ever need to jack the Jeep up, whether we have a flat tire on the street or we just need to check up on something while we're off-roading. Now overall the addition of the rear bumper is really going to complete that heavy duty aesthetic and that heavy duty look with not only the front bumper and the fenders but also with some of the other mods that we'll get into in just a little bit. Now while we're back here we can check out another mod on the list which is the Lomax Hard Trifold Tonneau Cover. Now tonneau covers are extremely helpful for the daily drivers out there to keep everything in the bed protected from the elements, keep cargo covered, and also keep loose items in the bed while we're driving around with a more open air setup. Now they also create a very complete and clean look to the back of the truck. Not to mention this specific tonneau cover will provide the security that we want considering that this is a hard cover made of a durable aluminum material with an automatic dual locking system. Now on the flip side, this will be incredibly easy to use. With the pull of a lever, we can easily flip this open whenever we need the extra space and utilize the cover while it's open for larger cargo that won't be able to fit with the tonneau cover down. Now on the other hand, this will easily flip right back down when we need to cover up any smaller cargo that we want protected from the elements or any prying eyes. And this will sit very flush on the sides of the bed, which creates a very clean look. And in my opinion, I think it makes the back of the truck look very sleek. Now with our front end and our rear ends protected, we have a couple of extra mods that we need to tackle on the side to make sure that we have 360 protection and a little bit of added utility that I think you guys will like. When it comes to the side of the Jeep, it's all about accessibility and protection, and that's where our next mod comes into play. Now, the side steps that I have mounted up are the Rockslide Engineering Step Sliders. Now, these will be incredibly helpful for getting in and out of the truck, which is especially good now since I added a lift to the truck. Now all we have to do is open up our door and a large step will drop down, allowing instant accessibility when getting in and out, which will be helpful for not only the driver, but helpful for the passengers and especially kids to hop in the Jeep on a daily basis. Now this will make cab access a lot easier and even help out with roof access if we wanna fold back the soft top all the way, or if we mount up a roof rack in the future, kind of leaving the options open. Now this will even come with a no slip surface to make accessibility just that much easier and a little bit safer on those rainy days. Now these will be incredibly tough and mount up very high and tight to that rocker area, very similar to a factory ruby rail, but these are gonna come with a lot more features. Now this design will offer a lot of protection to that very vulnerable pinch weld area, and this is especially gonna be helpful while navigating trails because of that breakover angle. Now bolted up right above our steps is the barricade tubular adventure doors. Now when getting ready for the summer months, having a set of tube doors is always a great idea for a better sense of security while driving around with the full doors off, enjoying that open air driving experience while also having a little bit of style in the meantime. Now these will offer a lot of visibility out of the door to the tires and the side steps to make guiding trails and obstacles just that much easier while also enjoying that open air feel. Now that open air driving experience is very unique to the Gladiator as well as the Wrangler and these will offer that while also offering an extra peace of mind. And not to mention they're going to match with all the other heavy duty accessories that I've added onto the Gladiator already considering that these have a textured black powder coat finish, a steel construction, and an overall off-road look. Now these will allow you to mount up mirrors for better safety and better visibility while you're driving around on the street and even on the trail. And these will accept JK mirrors so you really don't have to worry about swapping over your factory mirrors once you put on these tube doors. Now the mirrors that I have mounted up are the OPR replacement mirrors for the driver and the passenger side, and they fit great and offer some factory styling and a lot of visibility. Now while we're on the side, since I upgraded the fenders, this also presented a great opportunity to upgrade the inner fender liners, and the liners are extremely important to protect the side of the engine bay, so having a durable and a good looking option is always a great upgrade. Now the set that I have mounted up is the Rugged Ridge aluminum inner fender liners, and they're going to do just that. 
These will fit right inside the inner wheel well to protect the side of the engine bay from any sticks, dirt, mud, any rocks. And this is also going to be made of a lightweight aluminum construction, as it says in the name, so they will be able to take some abuse, especially from all of that kick up on fire trails and even while you're driving around on the street. Now, just like any other HD mod, these are also going to have that texture black powder coat finish on top to protect the aluminum underneath from any corrosion and also a match with the fenders that we have mounted up. Now, all of these mods are working very well uh, together to give that heavy duty aesthetic and overall it gives the Jeep a really good look. Now, the last thing that we added to this build was a factory soft top. Now, the hard top is nice, but nothing beats the top down feel in the summer, especially paired with those tube doors. The Gladiator might be a pickup truck, but a build like this really highlights that it still has the soul of a Jeep. Now, we have a couple of smaller parts to throw on to put on some finishing touches so we can wrap up with this cool build. With the addition of the True Shield precision molded front floor liners to protect our carpets, and the Rugged Ridge Reflex stubby antenna to replace the ugly wire one. That is going to wrap it up for this overhaul on our Gladiator. Now this has been a really fun build, guys. We've added a ton of protection and recovery options to make sure that this Gladiator is fully capable off-road and some great open air mods that will make this thing a blast to cruise around on the street with. Now all of these rugged looking parts combined with the wrap really make this thing a one-of-a-kind head turner and it really makes it so much more than a pickup truck. Now even though the Gladiator is still relatively new to the market. We do have a ton of parts available for this vehicle on our site, and we're adding new install videos on our YouTube channel every week. So for more build inspiration, product reviews, and step-by-step -step installs for your Gladiator, make sure you always keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.